Hello everyone and welcome to Inside USA Shooting on the Outdoor Channel. My name is Mike Smith and in today's episode, we go to Colorado Springs, Colorado for an event that will have major implications on determining who will be on the shotgun team that represents the United States of America at the Beijing Games in 2008. This event is called the Fall Selection Match for men's skeet and women's skeet. The top finishers here are halfway towards their goal of making the Olympic team. In skeet shooting, four inch clay targets are projected either one at a time or two at a time across the front of a semicircle shaped shooting zone. Traveling at speeds up to 55 miles per hour, the targets come from two separate towers on each side of the shooting ring. One tower fires the targets approximately 10 feet off the ground. The other fires them just three feet off the ground. The targets cross in the center of the field at a height of approximately 15 feet. Each competitor shoots at 25 targets per round, doing so as they rotate among eight different shooting stations. And there are 10 qualifying rounds at this event, making a total of 250 shots. The top six finishers advance to the finals round to determine the champion of this fall selection match. We'll start our coverage with the women's skeet competition. You'll see that all the big names are here. Two-time Olympian and former World Cup champion Connie Smotek. 2007 Pan American Game gold medalist and World Cup silver medalist Haley Dunn and three-time Olympic medal winner in double trap, Kim Rohde. Add to the mix, Laura Kolb, Sherry Legate, and three-time national champ, Brandi Neal, and a couple of promising youngsters in Emily Blunt and Ali Chang. You can see that this is a first-class group of skeet shooters. On day one, it's Rhodey who starts hot. Trying to make her first Olympic team as a skeet shooter, the 28-year-old Rhodey sandwiches a pair of perfect 25s between a pair of 23s, ending her four-round first day with a score of 96 out of 100. That puts her two shots ahead of Legate and four ahead of Brandy Neal, with Smotek, Dunn, and the rest of the field right behind. Day two, where Kim Rhodey falters a bit on her first two rounds of the day shooting 23s in each. The stumble rapidly shrinks her lead, but it's no longer just Sherry Legates and Brandy Neal on her heels. Haley Dunn fires a pair of perfect 25s to start her day, and quickly picks up four shots on Rhodey. At the same time, Connie Smotek, who started the day five shots back of Rhodey, goes 24-25 in her first two rounds, picking up three on the leader. The up-to-date overall score after six of the 10 qualifying rounds has Kim Rohde at 142, with Smotek, Dunn, and Sherry Legate right behind her, all at 140. With six of the 10 qualifying rounds complete, the women's skeet competition at the fall selection match is up for grabs. Haley Dunn follows up her back-to-back -back perfect rounds at the start of day two with rounds of 23, 24, 24, and 23 out of 25, giving her a 10-round total score of 234. That puts her in third place overall, just behind Connie Smotek, who goes 23, 24, 24, and 25 to finish at 236 overall. But it's Kim Rohde who takes first. She grabbed a share of the lead after round two and never gave it up, finishing 24, 25, 22, and 25 to chalk up a 10-round total of 238. Going into the spring selection, it's Rohde with the inside track to make the women's Olympic skeet team. Well, I have to be honest, you know, being out there, I was extremely nervous and uh, just very happy I was able to hold it together. And it felt good. It felt really good. It felt really smooth. And um, I'm just really happy to carry that over into the next match. My goal mainly for this match was to try to be as consistent as possible to go out there and shoot my own game. And that's what I did today. I couldn't be happier. I am so excited and uh, definitely going to be some uh, celebrating tonight. <laughs> the final preliminary round of skeet is wrapping up just over my shoulder. That means it's time for the women's finals. Joining Kim Rohde, Connie Smotek, and Haley Dunn in the finals is a gimpy and injury plagued Sherry Legate, plus youngsters Laura Kolb and Emily Blunt.
Rohde gives back a point with a miss on the fourth shot, dropping her lead to just one over Smotek. Each would miss again. Smotek first, and then moments later, Rohde missing as well, so the lead is still one. That's where it would stay. None of the top three would miss the rest of the way, meaning Kim Rohde would shoot a 23, Connie Smotek a 24, and Haley Dunn a 25. So Kim Rohde retains the lead she had at the start of the finals and finishes as fall selection champion. As Kim Rohde works her way through this competition, focusing on her own shots, part of her mind is also focused on her competition, specifically one competitor named Amber English. Even though she's relatively new to the sport, having once been a highly rated gymnast, she has advanced in shooting quickly, thanks in part to her part-time private mentor, someone named Kim Rohde. How did she get to be the lucky one? Because obviously a lot of kids growing up were looking up to you as their shooting hero. Uh, how did it work out that she and you developed this bond? She just asked. Just just asked and uh, called me up and said, hey, you know, can I come out and shoot with you and your dad? And I said, why not? I saw her at fall selection. I talked to her a little bit there. And then uh, she said, keep in touch. So I called her and we hooked up at, in her hometown, California. So it's been fantastic. And just to know that I've been able to be part of that is, um, you know, it's, it's a good feeling, you know. And to see these kids, you know, when they hit the targets, their eyes light up. I mean, that's what it's truly all about. On the women's side, Kim Rohde takes the top spot with a three-day, 10-round total of 238. Connie Smotek finished in second place, just two shots back. Now remember, the scores here, combined with the scores from the spring selection match in March, will determine who makes the 2008 Olympic women's ski team. Thank you very much for watching Inside USA Shooting on the Outdoor Channel.